<laughs> bye bye. Hey everybody, welcome back to the 411 Mamas. I'm so excited to be back after the Christmas season, the new year. You know, it's all over and done with. It was fun while it lasted, but I'm glad to be back home, unpack my bags from our vacation, get the baby back on his sleeping schedule, and get everything back to normal. I'm also back in full HD. If anybody can notice the difference in quality, please let me know down below. So today we are doing a video of my best of 2012 um, random products, mommy and baby. Um, I have makeup, I have skincare, hair care, I have stuff for baby, I have random things. I just kind of picked and chose different things that were definitely my favorites of 2012. So my first absolute favorite baby thing of 2012 is my baby. <laughs> he was born in May. He is seven and a half months old and he is my favorite thing of 2012, my favorite thing of life. So let's just put that out there. As far as his favorite things go, um, I do have a few things. Swaddle wraps. Um, he had been swaddled since he was a newborn. It was very important that he was swaddled because he wouldn't sleep without it. Um, he still has swaddle wrap on him, but it does not cover his arm. It just covers his stomach and his legs. I don't know why he still wants that thing on him, but he does and it really helps. We have like four or five swaddle wraps and it's the ones with the Velcro on. doesn't really matter which brand to me as long as it has Velcro because he obviously will not stay in a blanket anymore. So it has Velcro here on these flaps, this particular one, and then Velcro on the outside and it just swaddles him in and keeps it there all night long. This is the show called Yo Gabba Gabba. He loves it. Um, he actually doesn't watch anything else besides that. He has no interest in TV whatsoever. Um, except for Yo Gabba Gabba and Wheel of Fortune. Don't even ask why. <laughs> but I love the show Yo Gabba Gabba. It is fun, they sing a lot, the characters are so cute, and there is so many good messages in that show, um, like sharing, be nice to your friends, the list goes on. There's wonderful new messages on every episode, and he just loves the song, and he loves it. And the last thing that I'm going to mention for him is his shampoo, bubble bath, and body wash combination that I found. It is by California Baby. And this is available at Target. This is where I found it. Um, California Baby products, there's a whole range of them. Um, this is the shampoo and body wash in French lavender. It's supposed to be like calming or whatever. This was made by a mother, so extra bonus points for this product, but it's actually organic, does not have any chemicals, sulfates, anything that's bad for baby. This lady did her research. So it was made with no gluten, soy, oat, dairy, or nuts, except for coconut. It is made with natural and organic ingredients in a solar-powered facility. Um, the entire bottle, including the label, is recyclable. It is vegan and there was no animal testing. So this is an A plus in my book. It smells amazing. It smells like herbally. Um, I love it. It's a little pricey in my opinion. Um, this particular bottle I think was like $11, but we have had it for months. As you know, a baby does not need very much product to get him clean. Let's move on to mommy products before this video is two hours long. For hair, I have two major wins in 2012. They are both conditioners and they have saved my hair. My hair had gotten to the point that it was so bad I could not run my fingers through it. No joke, I couldn't run my fingers through my hair. It felt like hay. I didn't know what was going on, but I did my research and I found the two products that saved my hair. My hair is back to super healthy. I can run my fingers through it very, very easily. It is so healthy and it's these products. Number one, 
the generic value product um, conditioning balm. It's the Matrix Biolage Conditioning Balm, like knockoff. I hate the word knockoff, but you get this at Sally's and it's got the exact same ingredients as the original Matrix Biolage Conditioning Balm. This is like an everyday conditioner for me. Um, it was very reasonably priced. I think it was like $5.99, $6.99, something like that. And as soon as you put this conditioner in your hair, it just feels like butter. It melts into your hair. Your fingers can go perfectly through your hair. I use this every single day. The second product I have passed by in Walmart a thousand and one times. I have seen this. I'm sure when I show you, you will have seen it too. Um, but I was watching a YouTube video and somebody mentioned this as their holy grail deep conditioner. When somebody says holy grail, I take notice. I don't know if you guys do, but that means like all time favorite. So I picked it up. It's the Neutrogena Triple Moisture Deep Recovery Hair Mask. Does it look familiar to you? Because it definitely did to me. This I use probably once or twice a week, and oh my god, it's so good. It is so good. Just go and try it. Your hair will never be the same again, in a good way. Okay, for face care, face products, I have to include Bioderma Sensibo. This is a makeup remover that I had used before. Um, I get this in Canada. It's not readily available in the States, but you can and find it online. Definitely find it online. Um, I hadn't used it for a long time because I'm in the States and I didn't have access to it, but my friend sent me a couple of little bottles of it and I am so thankful because it's just unlike any other makeup remover, hands down. The next face product is a mask by Dermalogica and it's an exfoliating mask. And so if you want to exfoliate your skin but you don't want to use those harsh scrubs in the shower, you can use this like once a week, once every two weeks, however often you need it. And it does the exfoliation without damaging your skin. This product uses um, alpha and beta hydroxy acids and natural fruit enzymes and those just eat away at the dead skin cells without abrading your skin. It works so amazingly. Moving on to makeup products, and I could probably sit here and go through a million <laughs> makeup products, but I'm just going to show you my standout products that I have discovered in 2012. The first one is CoverGirl Nature Lux Foundation. I've mentioned this before, discovered it um, this past year, and have been absolutely loving it. I am wearing it today. The next one I have also mentioned before, and it's the Maybelline Instant Age Rewind Dark Circle Eraser. Um, I have this one in Fair, and I'm really wanting to try the um, Radiant or the Brightening one, because this is just love. This is perfection. I'm also wearing this today. My eyebrows have been something that I have struggled with forever, and I made it my goal, I guess, in 2012 to find a solution or something that worked to give me good looking eyebrows and I have found it finally and I will not stray from this. Um, this is the Maybelline Quad in Natural Smokes and the dark brown shade down below is perfect for my brows. It's what I'm wearing. It's the only thing that I will use now. It is just love and perfection, and it's what I have been looking for. I love this quad in general, by the way. I'm using the brown as like an eyeliner. I use all the other colors too. Go get this, Natural Smokes by Maybelline. Picking my favorite eyeshadow was um, a little difficult, but I knew what I wanted to pick, I think. Um, it's by Wet n Wild, and it's in the trio called Knock on Wood. And it is the last color, which is like uh, burgundy, kind of leading towards brown a little bit. It's just a really, really gorgeous color, and I use it all the time, just warming up in the crease. I'm wearing it today again. And it's just that last color there. Absolutely beautiful. 
I love Wet n Wild eyeshadows and I love this trio probably the most out of all of them. For lips, I will have to give it up to Wet n Wild matte lipsticks. I have a bunch of them as you can see. Love the formula, love the color payoff, um, the staying power, just perfect. My favorite lip gloss is by Smashbox and it's called Fame. It's their lip enhancing gloss. Perfect for every day, perfect for special occasions. I keep this in my purse at all times. My last favorite I picked up whenever I was in Canada. I've used it before. Um, it's the Evian Water Spray. I use this to set my makeup. It takes any powdery, cakey look immediately down. Um, these were on for $5 a bottle, so I stocked the heck up on these before I came home. And it says the Evian Facial Spray can be used daily or in the evening. It increases your skin hydration, helps to fix makeup, and offers you constant freshness and purity. pH balance for all skin types. Um, just the spray on this is so fine of a mist. It's beautiful. My favorite razor of 2012. Again, I have used this before in the past, but I rediscovered it because I got it as a Christmas present last year, so in the new year I started using it, and I will never be without again. It's the Chic Intuition um, with the bar <laughs> around the razor. Um, if you suffer from razor burn on your legs, which I definitely do, this has not once given me razor burn. It is perfect. Um, and every other razor on God's green earth gives me razor burn on my legs, except for this one. My fashion favorite is black leggings. I wear them like almost every day, <laughs> especially post-pregnancy. Um, black leggings are just super easy go-to for me every day. My favorite show of 2012 was The Walking Dead. Of course, no surprise. Um, season 3 was absolutely amazing, and I can't wait for it to start back up. Um, shortly, I am just waiting for that to start back up. Love it. Favorite movie of 2012 is going to go to Men in Black 3. I am a huge Will Smith fan, and I am a huge fan of the first two Men in Blacks. So when this one came out, I was like, oh my god, is it going to be as good? Am I going to like it? Are they going to fail? And it did not disappoint me. It was a great movie. I loved it, and you should go out and watch it. Internet favorite of 2012 is going to Pinterest. <laughs> no surprise, I love Pinterest. Um, it's where I get like 99% of my inspiration from for the past year. I'm just hooked on it. My favorite YouTubers of 2012. I cannot fit everybody into this category, so please don't get offended. Um, I want to say all of my 411 mamas, like all of their individual channels are absolutely amazing. I'm not just saying that because they are my friends, but oh my goodness, they are so lovely, so inspiring, so talented, each in their individual ways, so big thumbs up to the 411 mamas. Aside from that, um, I want to stick to like mommy related, home related um, channels such as that. Um, I love Malatos79, if I'm saying that right. Oh my goodness, this girl can organize, she can clean, she can decorate on a budget. She is amazing. Please go and get addicted to her channel. I love Mama Natural Vlog. Um, she has a lot of viewers and there's a reason why. She's so informative. Her videos are so high quality. And she is an advocate of everything natural, um, breastfeeding, organic foods. She's just delightful. And my last YouTuber mommy is It's Judy's Life. Oh my god, who isn't addicted to that channel? Wow, she is so funny. Her husband is so funny. Her baby girl, Juliana, is adorable. I just love it. And they are such a real family. Um, you get to see into their life just the way that they live every day, and it's just a trip. I love them. My favorite blogs to follow, um, mommy related and stuff like that, um, the first one is called Navigating the Mothership, and this girl is so good at blogging. She's 
like my favorite blogger of all time. She has a way with words unlike any other. She's funny. She is real above everything else. She's not scared to tell you everything and anything that happens in her life. She has two little kids and a wonderful husband. She has shared her pregnancy journeys with both kids, like in descript detail. She has described her labor stories and has not leaving any detail out. So you should definitely go and check her out. She's also um, a great cook and loves organic food and natural things too. And I'm totally into that. And my second favorite blog is called A Beautiful Mess. And you've probably read it before, it's super popular. Um, it's two sisters, they own a store called Red Velvet, I think, and they are so crafty. They are so good at decorating and cooking and just absolutely anything that you need to see. It's on that blog, go check it out. All right, so yeah, that video is probably ridiculously long. Maybe we'll see with some editing, but I hope that you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I hope that you're looking forward to 2013 as much as I am. I have high hopes for this year, and I hope that you guys will continue to enjoy our channel, continue to tune in, and we'll definitely be growing and changing in 2013, and I hope that it's a great year. So I will see you all in the next video. Bye.